thanks for tuning into this payable video. If you use Google Forms, you might already know it has some really handy tools built in. But here at Payable, we want to make sure you're getting the most out of your Forms experience. So today, we're going to cover one of the most powerful but often overlooked features, sections and the go to section based on answer function. What are sections? Think of a section like a page in your form. Without sections, your form is just one long scroll. With sections, your form gets broken up into neat pages where users click next to continue between the pages. There's no right or wrong approach, but sections can make your form easier to read and more organized. For example, here's my farm fresh order form. I've got customer details, order preferences, terms and agreement, add-ons like merchandise and donations, and volunteer intake. Instead of showing all of that in one long list, I can break it up into sections so the user flows through it step by step. How to add a section? It's easy. Click on the question where you want your section to break. On the right hand toolbar, click the icon with two rectangles. Google will insert a divider, so now you'll see section two of two. Add a title and a description if you like, so users know what this section is about. For example, I'll title mine order terms and agreement. I can repeat this to create another section for my add-ons and my volunteer intake. Now my form is structured into clear steps. Here's where things get really powerful. Once you add sections, you can use go to section based on answer. This lets you send people down different paths in your form depending on how they respond. It's like adding a little intelligence to your form. A few examples of how to use this. On a school trip form, if a parent says they have to register a second child or an additional child, they're sent to another registration section. On a wedding RSVP, if a guest selects that they are unable to attend, you can skip the event intake questions like meals or seating and instead show them live stream details and your registry information. For a gym membership form, if a client selects personal training, they're sent to a section about their goals and schedule. How to use it? Skip logic works with multiple choice and drop down type questions. Create your question. Click the three dots in the bottom right of the question pane and then select go to section based on answer. Now for each answer option, you decide what section comes next. One last piece. When you create a section, you'll notice a drop down at the bottom that says continue to next section. You can change this to skip users ahead or jump to different sections or the end of the form. For example, on my farm order form, I ask, would you like to volunteer at the farm? If someone answers yes, I send them to the volunteer intake section to collect details like their availability and interests. But once they're done with that, instead of showing them my merchandise add-ons or donation requests, I skip them straight to the submit page. That way, the form feels relevant to them and they're not bothered with extra options that don't apply. So to recap, sections make your form more organized. Skip logic makes your form smarter by creating custom paths. Together, they turn a plain form into an interactive experience that saves time and feels personalized for each user. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more tips on getting the most out of Google Forms and Payable. Thanks for watching.